Hi you guys, welcome back to another pattern first impression video. This one is going out to an indie pattern designer called One Puddle Lane. Uh, One Puddle Lane is uh, run by a woman named Anne. And Anne is a professional pattern maker. She's worked in the fashion industry for 30 years. Um, doing a whole bunch of different jobs within the industry. And I love that she puts her mission right here, called out um, in bold in a different color. And it says to produce great quality PDF patterns packed with loads of information so you can become a better informed and more experienced seamstress. So that's really great. It makes me very excited for um, what we might find in her patterns. Um, she also has a load of tutorials, so along pattern hacks, pattern adjustments, tutorials, and also how to measure, which is really great. So I don't know if all of her patterns have sew alongs. Um, I'm guessing no, since there's only two here. Um, and when you click on them, it takes you right to the sew along and you can click through all of these different things. So that's a very well organized way to, um, to organize the sew alongs. It's not like you have one long blog post that you've got to get through or, or even multiple blog posts that are hard to navigate between each of them. You know what I mean? Um, so there's some tutorials here pattern adjusting, sewing tutorials, pattern hacks. Let's see how many of these there are. So there's three here, um, all for whatever the Miss Ruby Tuesday um, pattern is. So crossover with tux, crossover without tux, and then how to make a t-shirt. So buy one pattern and you get, I'm assuming the original design and then these three others. So that's good. All right, back to website. So not a ton of supplemental content there, but certainly, um, you know, some extras, uh, which are great. I love to see that. All right, so let's get to the patterns oh, shop. Okay. Oh, okay. She has a bunch. It looks like she's got some kids patterns, which we're not gonna review here. I don't sew kids clothes, so reviewing them just feels, uh, I don't know, odd to me. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking at or looking for in a child's pattern. Um, but she's got ladies, kids, pattern bundles, a holiday series. I guess she sells fabric. Uh, fabric and pattern hacks and then free patterns so cool all right let's go let's just start with ladies and see what we can find here so it looks like oh a bunch of patterns all right so we're gonna kind of go through these quickly so this video isn't five hours long um, and this one is called the best friend Imelda pants. And I also think that she lives in Australia. So there's going to be some kind of, you know, language stuff. And, um, maybe, maybe the default will be, um, you know, centimeters instead of inches. So we will work through that together since I am, I live in the United States. It's not natural for me, but we will do our best. Okay. Best friend Imelda pants. It's all about the shoes. Being pant wears 99.9% .9 of the time, best friend Imelda came to life because we wanted a pair of comfy pants that allowed great footwear, no matter the shoe choice. However, BFI, oh, BF, best friend Imelda had to be a sophisticated and adaptable design, must cater for buffet eating, a couch curl up, beach stroll, gal pal lunch dates, a night of mischief, a long nap, and with pockets. How cute. We wanted a stylish, accommodating, reliable bestie that never said no. BFI is the extrovert you need in your life. We're offering beautiful fabrics to sew your BFIs. Click here. All right, I will click that in a second. 
Do we get any? Okay, here's some information. All right, pants are made from woven fabrics only. Mid-rise, one inch below natural waist, elastic waist, easy fit, side pockets, leg pockets, and leg taps. Oh, like patch pockets? What are leg pockets? Yeah, okay, like, um, like cargo. Pattern layers in A4, AO, so you can choose the size you want. Trimless, no more trimming the pages, fully illustrated instruction booklet. And then the size ranges are 2 to 16 in the U.S., advanced beginner, woven fabrics only, linen, rayon, viscose, crepe, georgette, polyester. If you'd like even more help with sewing your new pants, come over to the Facebook group. It will be well worth it. Okay. Let's look at some of these pictures. Yes. Thank you for loading the pictures. Full screen where I can just scroll through them all. That makes me so happy. So this is obviously like a dressier version for the pants. This must be a... It's certainly not silky. I'm getting like a cottony vibe. That certainly looks comfortable. I wonder if they show any with the pant tabs undone. Oh my. <laughs> okay. I think we're getting like a certain uh, brand and a very defined voice for this pattern company. They are fun right between that description and now we've got like a nudie picture um yeah certainly a surprise welcome surprise per pepping me right up if i must say um okay so yeah it is a mid-rise pant and you can see it's got like little angled pockets that are quite deep and then here are your pant pockets little drawstring and then the tabs for the legs Oh, here it is with the tabs undone. So it looks like a regular wide leg pant. I'm here for that. These must be some tester versions. That looks like a drapier, like rayon twill or something. Chambray, cute like that, even without the tabs done. That's a good fitting version. Perfect for the beach, right? To be able to pull them up. All right, great photos. Um, let's go to measurement guide and see what we have here. All measurements are finished garment using all allocated hem and seam allowances when sewing together. Okay, garment measurements, six to 20. And it looks like the waist without the elastic is 39 and a half to 52 and three eighths. The hip area, which is, you know, your low hip is 39 and three quarter inches up to 53 and three eighths inches. Very roomy hip. She even gives your thigh. She gives the hem circumference. She is the outside of the leg and the inseam. Lots of information there. I don't know my thigh measurement off the top of my head, but it does go from 24 to 33 and an eighth. So specific too. So this seems like even though the sizing 6 to 20 is not super extended, it does feel like at least with the ease of this garment's design that I would fit into her size range. Uh, let's see, where would I go? I mean, I don't know how much ease she wants in the hip. I'm guessing like three or four inches, maybe more. Um, so I would be like 16, 18. So within the range. And then fabric guide. Outer fabric, elastic, interlining which is AKA interfacing, buttons, and thread. 
Oh, she even tells you how much thread you need? Wow. If lining trouser quantity used will depend on whether you are fully lining or half lining. Okay. And then let's go see the last little thing here. The fabrics. No products. Oh, I guess, I guess that was only a feature when the pattern was first launched, which I guess that makes sense. And 15 bucks for the best friend to melt pants. Okay. All right, Maxi the Magnificent. <laughs> As we love the romantic notion of being a touch bohemian, simply free-spirited, creative, unconventional, we created the Mac Maxi the Magnificent. This will take you from lazy barefoot walk along the beach to a night out in your killer heels drama-free. The design fits one inch below the waist, fitted yoke, option to add belt loops, skims the body from the waist to the hip line, then gradually flares to the hem. Okay, creating enough volume to walk with ease. Okay, cool. Also 15 bucks. So this is what she means about it being fitted through the hip and then flaring out. It's also got a center front seam. This one they put the... Um, Oh, uh, there's a little spot for you to write down your own measurements. That's interesting. Waist, top, hip. Hip seat. Oh, and it's all drawn in here. Hip to seat. Hip depth. Waist to hip. I don't know that these things correspond. I think that two is supposed to be here, three is supposed to be here, this is supposed to be four. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this corresponds to this. But you can see that the body measurement 24 and a half up to 38 and a quarter and it looks like she's looking for 24, like three and a quarter inches of ease in a fitted waistband. I don't know about that either. Hmm. Hip line. Oh, well, nope, that doesn't go either. I was going to say this goes with this because this would be waist one and then hip line two. But this is labeled four, and clearly that should be three. So I think these numbers are just swapped. All right, so your low hip line, which is this blue here, um, goes from 37 and 3 quarters up to 48, and that's finished garment measurements. So very fitted. I mean, I would be a 20 here assuming is this um woven or knit i also didn't check that that might make more sense for it to be a knit but i'm not sure and then the ease is three and a half inches of ease well that can't be right because size 20 has no ease I think something's wrong with this chart. We're going to skip over that. Front skirt. Oh, these are all the pattern pieces. Okay. And your fabric requirements. Kind of a lot of fabric. All right. Did it say what type of fabric? Mm, yeah. Plain fabrics in linen, tinsel, rayon, viscose, soft denims, wools, and crepe. So definitely woven and then glamour look options. That's cute. And then information about sheer fabrics. Okay. Yeah, you zip into it. So I don't, I don't know about that at all that extra ease for the waist. Oh, what did that say? I'm sorry. Seam allowances are three eighths of an inch. Okay. Got it. All right. Here's the skirt, looks great. Oh, but maybe since it's not your 
actual waist, maybe you measure that one inch down and that would accommodate the extra ease. I don't know how much bigger my one inch below my waist would be, but maybe that's what the ease is for. Yeah, I definitely am um, liking the drapier fabrics better. And I don't know if it's her website or my internet, but it's taking forever for some of these to load. That's pretty. Is that Inkara? Come on. That one's really pretty too. So yeah, it looks like the the design and the drape and all of that of the skirt is is really flattering, especially for a maxi skirt. It can be pretty overwhelming to have this much fabric on your lower half, but um, it looks really flattering on all these girls. All right, I can't stand these loading pictures. Okay. Oh, we were close to the end anyways. Okay. Online, blind skirt, woven fabrics. Got it. Same pattern features, same size. Easy to sew, but also challenge yourself with more advanced sewing techniques, which are included in the instruction booklet. Fabrics we went over, and then join the Facebook group again. Oh, wait. Yeah, and only the description here, so we don't have any of those other tabs. Okay. All right. The holiday series, a.k.a. inactive wear. <laughs> she has quite the sense of humor. Okay, PDF pattern is a fantastic little dress for summer parties, lunch with the gals, off to the races, or, take, or to take you to work. It is very versatile and can be dressed up or down depending on the occasion. Okay. Well, you guys know this is right at my alley. Okay. Um, oh, and this one has a sew along. So after you purchase it, come over to the sew along, click here for the Facebook sew along group and click here to start the sew along. Okay. So fitted panel, separate cups, which is great. Back invisible zip, side seam pockets, lined or unlined, gathered or pleated. Same sizes, same pattern features. These are all the different fabrics. There really are so many. Um, okay, cool. Now let's look at some of these pictures. One thing I think is missing is line drawings. I haven't seen any of those. Even on the pattern cover, there aren't any. But it might be, is this princess seamed? And then a waist seam here. Beautiful, like bateau neckline. The arm side looks nice and deep. The hem length looks good. There's the gathered version. Center back zip. Beautiful look at the neckline. Yeah, and you can really see the princess seams coming in here. Excellent. And maybe the pictures are just very large, which is why they're taking forever to load. Pretty. I mean, you guys know I love a fit and flare dress. There's no secret about that. Okay, I think we get the idea on the pictures. There weren't that many more anyways. Here is some kind of chart. Oh, this is fabric requirements. Okay. Reasonable amount for a dress, I think. And then here's your body measurements. So it goes from 
32 inch bust to a 46 inch bust and then she has half an inch of ease in the bust built in um, half an inch in the waist I don't know about that and then a taunt in the hip obviously because it's a flared dress and then she has your shoulder to waist measurement and your waist to hem measurement which is nice that they broke up the length like that because you know some people are shorter waisted and so it depends on where the your length you know sits on your body as to if the waistline is going to show up in the right place and then if the hem is going to show up in the right place so I like that attention to detail a lot so and then she tells you how to choose your size so cool all right now we've got Miss Eloise swing top dress is beautiful to wear and just floats over the body top a finishes at the hip bone top b finishes at the hip and the dress finishes at the knee so two links for the tops and one dress this beautiful dress is named after my first granddaughter eloise as it was the dress i made for my daughter-in-law when she was pregnant that's a nice personal touch Oh, here's some line drawings. Kind of inconsistent from pattern to pattern as to what you get. Maybe all of this stuff is included in the pattern booklet. But, I mean, look at all these options. Three neck options, three collar options, four sleeve, sleeve options, and two armhole options. Two links, well, technically three links. Wow, okay, so you have round neck, wide neck, scoop neck, you have polo collar, also a polo collar on the wide round neck, and then a cowl collar on the scoop neck, and then you have short sleeve, elbow, three quarter, and long sleeve, and then you have a regular armhole, which is wider set, and the cutaway armhole obviously is narrower. Technically, I mean, not technically, but personally, I prefer a cutaway armhole on a um, sleeveless garment. Just it to me is more flattering. But if you like the coverage and want to be able to wear a regular bra and all that, you have the option of doing regular armhole. Great. That's awesome. Um, fit and flare. Center back seam. knit fabrics only and this is, comes in alphanumeric sizing 2xs to 6xl advanced beginner to intermediate full instructions timeless pattern this is your fabric requirements knit fabric such as doesn't say And then there's your fabric, fabric requirements for all the different versions. Okay. Sizing. So 30 inch to 54 inch. Oh, no. 52 inch in the bust. 32 inch hip up to 54 inch hip. So I'd probably choose a different size depending on if I was making the top or the dress. But it looks like there is negative ease of half an inch or one and a half inches of positive ease depending on, you know, your bust. Which is why it's interesting there's a range, I guess. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's look at some of the pictures. Let's start with these. All right. Her arm is lifted, so it's kind of hard to tell. That must be the shorter, the shortest length. I do like that a lot. And this must be the scoop neck too. Oh, there's the one with the cowl neck. 
the wider arm size and the shorter length. This woman is an exceptional seamstress. All her stuff looks really good. You don't need to see the back. wonder if she's on Instagram. Here's one. I think it's tucked in. Oh, no, that's the dress with the belt. Well, that's cute. Cinched in at the waist. Here's another of the shorter lengths. This one has a sleeve on it. Really different look from that cowl neck one, right? Oh, hello. Look at the shaping on her. Her figure looks incredible. This is it with a, I think they're calling it a polo collar. Cute. So it's kind of like fitted through the bust and then flares out. What could be more comfortable than that? Cute. I think this is a very versatile little top. Again, the shaping on it is pretty remarkable. This must be the longer length top, so more like a tunic. Okay, 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 I get it now. Here's a dress with a long sleeve. Yeah, truly you guys could make each of those different versions and have a garment that looks completely different every time. I kind of love that. The little top is so cute, how it swings away like that. I really do love that. Cute. Is this one $15 too? Yeah, 15 bucks. All right. Now we've got Miss Fox. It will be your go-to pattern for gorgeous dresses, summer or winter. Beautiful, comfortable, and stylish dress to wear day or night. You can dress it up with heels or dress it down with flats. It looks great with a cardi too. Also, the Miss Fox skirt pattern can be used with the bodice. I'm not quite sure what that means. But it looks like half circle skirt, a bunch of different sleeves, center back zip, lined bodice, five neckline options, inseam pocket option, sizes 6 to 20, and suited for intermediate sewing. Okay. Oh, here's some line drawings. So yeah, kind of your kind of your standard fit to flare, right? You've got the bodice darts and a circle skirt. Um, I've got like a thousand different patterns like this in my pattern stash already. It's kind of a you know a basic design. Um, but you do get a bunch of different necklines which is great. It looks like you get different necklines for the front and back. Um, and then a different arm, like the this sleeveless, but then you also have this one that kind of comes over your shoulder a little bit, which is cute. So whereas I have, you know, 10 different patterns to get all these different looks, you do get all this in one. Um, which is really nice. I love this low scooped back. I mean, not a difficult alteration to make on your own if you just have a basic pattern, but it's nice to have them all in one. Um, so there's, there's that. All right, let's look at some of these pictures really quickly. I just hate how long they take to load. Come on. Excellent. Maybe I'll just skip over the ones that take too long. Well, they're all taking too long. All right, you guys get the idea, right? Oh, look at this fun picture, though. Come on. You can tell I have very little patience today. Working on it. Working on it. These just aren't loading at all. No thanks. I don't have time for that. 
neither do you. But you guys get the idea. What else did we not cover? I guess that's it. All right, so now we have the dress slash skirt bundle, and this is $7 more. The Miss Fox skirt can be attached to the Miss Fox dress to make a different look. So now you have one bodice with two skirt patterns. Is it just a pleated skirt? Yeah, okay. So you swap out a circle skirt for a pleated skirt. There you go. Or you can just make the skirt by itself. I see, I see, I see. Cute little pleated skirt though. How adorable, right? I really haven't made a ton of skirts in my life. So it's inverted pleat skirt or gathered skirt. And then if you buy it in the bundle, then now you have also the circle skirt. And just for reference, you can always swap out skirts with bodices so long as both of them have a seam that hits at the same place. So a waist seam, empire waist seam, you know, whatever it is. So long as like the bodice has a waist seam and the skirt has a waist seam, you can swap them out and add them together. So. Cute. So pleats, a little bit like the belt is really cute too. Um, body measurements, 26 inches to 40 inches at the waist. Um, the hip is kind of negligible since it's so wide. And then kind of a lot of fabric, but I guess it's pretty wide, so. Okay. And then we looked at the dress, we looked at the skirt and no reviews, okay. Can you buy the skirt? Oh yeah, and here's where you buy the skirt by itself. Okay, cool. So A, B, A, B together. This is the Miss Frankie May. Will be one of your favorite tops in your wardrobe. It is a beautiful, comfortable, and feminine top to wear day or night. You can dress it up with satin pants and heels or dress it down with jeans and flats. Fitted bust to a flared asymmetrical hem. So I'm guessing similar vibes to that other top that I can't remember the name of. Um, just with an asymmetrical hem. Sleeveless, four sleeve options, knit fabrics, no zipper. And I'm guessing just the one neckline. Let's see if she has it down here again. Nope. So this is our photo of the line drawings. Yeah, just the one neckline. <laughs> the sleeves look funny. And then you can add on all of those sleeves. I do like how it's asymmetrical in the back as well. It doesn't just come down in the, and then, oops, and then cut off, you know what I mean? and then cut off straight. I don't know how that would work anyways, but you know what I'm saying. And then you just have your neck bands and your sleeve. Yeah, it's not that many pattern pieces. Those are fabric requirements. Two way stretch only. It's cute. It's a very flattering, um, Asymm asymmetrical hem. A lot of times these can be, I don't know, kind of frumpy, I guess, depending on where they hit. Um, but this one looks really good. Even on like a fuller figured person too, you know, she's not a size two. And I love seeing the variety. That's, you know, we've talked about this a thousand times, but that's what one of the best things about independent patterns are is you get to see a version made up on many different body types. So, oh, look at it with a skirt. I never would have thought to style it that way. Cute. Cute, cute. Seems like the pictures are wanting to work now. That fabric is a little bit um, stiffer, less drapey, maybe like a ponty or something. All right, cute. No zips, super easy peasy. 
The top will sew up in a matter of minutes, but you'll need little knowledge on how to sew knits. I say only a little knowledge as the instructions are packed with information how to sew it together. Okay. Twelve bucks. Miss Holly wrap dress. Then we have a Miss Holly wrap dress and sweet pea wrap dress bundle. We haven't seen the sweet pea. Oh, it's like a mommy and me. How cute. That's adorable. This beautiful, cool wrap dress is for the ladies. It's the grown up version to the sweet pea wrap dress. I love, you know, how many times do you see like a kid's pattern? And you're like, man, I wish they had that in adult sizes. Well, that's what this is. So it looks like she has like a different design label, the Pattern Studio, playful patterns for happy moms and well-dressed kids. So she might have a whole line of mommy and me's if you guys are interested in that. But it is a wrap dress with a cap sleeve, fitted bodice, scattered skirt, wraps from the back to the front. That's very retro very, I don't know, 40s, 50s. Some of you vintage girls would know better than me the time frame, but um, very classic style. Size 8 to 20. All right. Yep, so you've got a wide neckline, a little grown on cap sleeve. Um, fitted bust or fitted um, bodice into a full gathered skirt. I mean, this is a very wide skirt. That's how it wraps in the back. So stinking cute. Probably need a lot of fabric. Actually, not that much considering. Sizing and garment measurements. So your body is 34 inches to 46 inches in the bust, 27 to 39 in the waist. That's that's pretty slim. And then the finished garment measurements, so there is no ease in the bust and no ease in the waist. Okay. And then she provides the two separate lengths again, which is a nice detail. So cute. Oh, it's not a grown-on sleeve. It's an actual cap sleeve. So you can leave that off and have a sleeveless version real easily. And for what it's worth, you can swap out that other skirt or this skirt or vice versa if you didn't want such a full skirt because both of those bodices and skirts um, have a seam at the hip. Okay. Okay, cute. Miss Holly. Um, now we've got Miss Isabella top tunic dress PDF pattern will be your go-to pattern for a beautiful feminine top tunic dress. Beautiful, comfortable, stylish to wear day or night. Features an asymmetrical hem and two sleeve options as well as sleeveless. Great for summer or winter. And this picture, this um, pattern cover happens to have all the versions in one. Look at the dress. That is cool. That is a really cool um hemline and then you can see the top here tunic here another top the dress hem is awesome I wish there were line drawings <sighs> but let's let's see if we can find a good picture of the look how pretty I love that I love that it starts above the knee and then kind of comes down. Very dramatic. <gasps> well, that's a cute outfit. And it looks like a sleeve with a ruffle. There's a sleeveless version. Okay, I'm done with the pictures again. <laughs> I'm working on the patience, guys. I really am. This one's cute. Will this one load? Nope. All right. Loose fitting, asymmetrical hem, two sleeve options, and a sleeveless option, which is really three sleeve options. Woven fabrics, be advanced beginner, 
It depends on the fabric you use, totally. Totally. All right. Will these load? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. Some of them load real fast and other ones don't load at all. So, all right. Well, you can imagine similar, similar measurements to the other two tops where they're a little bit fitted at the bust and then flare out. But it does look like there are some really great sleeve options. It's hard to tell. We've got the sleeveless here, obviously. I think this is the same one with the ruffle. And then this one with like a split open seam, maybe? But then there's this one too, which looks different than those other two. So I don't know. It's hard to tell. I wish there was a line drawing for that. But all right. Now we've got the Miss Laura. And this image isn't loading at all. Beautiful floaty summer dress that can be worn as a top tunic or maxi. It's perfect for those hot summer days by the beach or pool. It can also be worn with tights, boots, and a jacket to take you through the colder months. Flutter sleeves, elastic back, front wrap, and tie at the back, front, shoulder, and waist gathers. Oh yeah, you can see it here. Baby line drawing, but you can see it. So it's got like tiers to the skirt or are these just the different lengths you can make it in? Yeah, I think that those are just different lengths. Oh, there's a lot here. Here we go. Top dress maxi, okay. So 32 inch bust to 52 inch bust. 36 inch hip to 56 inch hip and I'm just skipping over the waist because it's a fitted waist and a wrap so you can and, and elastic so you can kind of fudge that a little bit then your garment measurements are finished garment so wow that's eight inches of ease in the bust is that pre wrappage 40 inches to 60 inches in the bust 40 to 60 in the waist and 56 and three quarters to 76 and three quarters in the hip. There might be some of you that this is too big. Let's see if we can get some photos of the front and back. Yeah, I guess the front is pretty roomy if you look at this. See all this ease over here? So it makes me wonder if this falls open. This here too is a little bit concerning. Yeah, I might, if I were gonna make this, I would probably size down in the bodice. Let's be more choosy about the pictures that we're going to look at. Oh, here's the top version. Let's look at that. Come on. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is not optimal viewing experience. Yeah, so hers is very close fitted to her chest. Still roomy in the side seams though so maybe it maybe you can like i said fudge it a lot in the waist you know and and tie it in a way that keeps it close fitting to your chest even though it's so roomy everywhere else but that's a really cute top i love the flutter sleeve See, hers closes even higher than the last girl's. So I don't, I don't really know what's happening. That's really cute in the dot, though, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, here's another good um, angle of the chest.
I mean, it feels like 1992 with the loading. Am I right? Who remembers dial-up? <laughs> Jeez Louise. I pay for a lot of internet, so I, re I don't think it's my internet. I think these pictures are ginormous and they're just taking forever to load. But so far, I don't see any examples of anybody who's having any real gaping issues here, despite all the ease in the bust. So um, you must be able to tie it in a way that just, you know, keeps it closed, which is fine by me, however it works, you know. So there we go. All right. Miss Laura. All right. Next up. We've got Miss Maggie. Miss Maggie will be a pattern you'll use over and over again for your dresses and tops. It's a beautiful, comfortable, and stylish dress to wear day or night. Cute. Stretch knit only. A-line, no zips, optional cowl neck. Different sleeve options, size six, 2 to 16. U.S. and advanced beginner. I love the cowl neck a lot. You know, fit to flare knit dresses aren't something that I have a ton of in my wardrobe. No line drawings again. Darn. Okay. Um. All right, we went through all that. So all that's really left are these pictures. Let's see what we can get here. You guys. <laughs> I can't. I can't. And I know you're frustrated too. Can you guys see the little itty bitty pictures? So is, did it say top? Yeah, top and PDF. So the top is really like a fitted knit top. And then if you make it a dress, it looks like there's a waist seam with an A-line skirt attached. So it's really two different patterns. The cowl neck is truly stunning. Look at this one. Please load. Nothing. I don't know what's up with that. The only reason I think it's not my internet is because, like, I can, you know, get around. I can navigate really quickly. You know, like, the pages are loading. It's just the pictures take forever. Okay, we've got another go-to gorgeous summery dress. Beautiful, comfortable, stylish dress to wear day or night. Dress it up. Dress it down. Looks like that is a common theme across all of her patterns. That's, they're all go-tos. They're all comfortable and beautiful and stylish. And you can wear them day or night. And you can wear them with heels or flats. <laughs> oh, oh, and you can layer them with cardies. How many times have we heard that? So, all right. Maxi dress. Faux wrap front. Elastic waist. Easy to fit. Yes. Two sleeve options. Side seam pockets. Yay for line drawings. Okay. So, I mean, I've seen this before, right? Like, um, flutter sleeve even, the cross surplus bodice, elastic waist, and like a tulipy hem. And then here's the, the non-flutter sleeve option. Pretty fabric. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's see, we already looked at all that. So now we have this. Okay. So six, I'm sorry, two to 16 on the sizing, 32 inches to 46 inch bust. 26 to 40 inch waist. Again, you can kind of fudge that a little bit since it's elastic. 
36 to 50 inch hip. This might not fit me. Oh no, this body measurements. Okay. It's close. It's close. I probably be a 16. And then no ease in the bust, no ease in the waist, no ease in the hip. That doesn't make any sense. That's not right. Something's wrong about this chart too. Then you've got your different links and stuff. Oh, it makes it really hard when there are things that are just like common sense wise. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like a flared skirt with no ease. That doesn't make sense to me. So then it makes me hard to, tr it makes it hard to trust other things. You know what I mean? I mean, it, having the tester photos does help a ton. Um, so I'm glad we have those because we can really see how it fits like an actual person. But it looks to me like this bust is huge. It's not no ease. I don't know. They just, they're not loading. I have never had this problem before. Hers loaded really quickly. Because it's a screenshot, see? So screenshots are normally really small. Anyways, you can see that there's a lot of ease in the bust, actually, and a lot of ease in the hips. So something about that chart isn't right. All right. Um, that was Miss Olivia. So we have Miss Ruby Tuesday and Miss Ruby Tuesday add-on bundle. And then there's a Mommy and Me Miss Ruby Tuesday. And remember... Ruby Tuesday was also the one that had the sew alongs. So we've also got this Ruby Tuesday add on skirt and bodice and add on another add on bodice and another add on skirt and a dress. Oh man, there's a lot. So these two rows are all dedicated to Miss Ruby Tuesday. I guess let's start with the dress. Well, <laughs> Miss Ruby Tuesday will be your go-to dress for summer or winter, night or day. A knit dress, so that means no zips. Truly beautiful, sew and wear with so many options will produce a different dress each time you sew it. 2XS to 6XL. So again, it is the fitted bodice and a circle skirt with two cuffing options. Oh, cutting options, gathered skirt option, peplum skirt option, seven sleeve options, five neckline options. That's incredible. Here they all are. So, sleeveless, short, elbow, extended shoulder, necklines. All these different necklines. And then you've got your half circle skirt, a gathered skirt, or half circle peplum or gathered peplum. And that's just for this version of the pattern. Let's see if she has links to the others. No. Okay, so you've got that dress, right? Pretty basic knit fit to flare. Then... You can buy this, which has even more skirts. If you love the Miss Ruby Tuesday and are going to love the add-on skirt, there's so many options to create. It will be even more your go-to pattern. <laughs> so this has six skirt options, peplum, short, and maxi lengths. So the skirt options are Ooh, this really pretty straight skirt with kind of like a tulipy hem. You've got the A-line skirt. A-line skirt with pockets and front inverted pleat. A high-low with inseam pockets and a pleated skirt. That is incredible. So she says six, but it's really eight because you have the two lengths here. 
So you can add on that in addition to the half circle skirt or the gathered skirt from the original pattern. And then we also have the bodices. Uh, five different bodice styles. This truly is like a one and done. You would never need another knit dress fit to flare pattern ever in your life. If only the images would load. <laughs> Oh man, there we go, come on, all right. So we have crossover with extended shoulder, sleeveless and sleeved, crossover with little pleats on the side. Um, one of my most favorite woven dresses is designed like this. Then you have the regular one, but with a wide waistband and optional tie. You have the crossover with a waistband, an optional tie. And then you have the crossover with waist tucks. So a little bit deeper and more open. Again, all of these in the extended shoulder, sleeveless, and flutter sleeve options. Wild. I am here for this. This is, now I can't even click out of this. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. So what I get for trying to do these live. Okay, well not live, but kind of live. Okay, so now we've got all those. This is where you buy, so you can either buy bodices and skirts separately for $18, or you can get the bodices and skirts as a bundle for $15, so you save a little bit of money there. And then, what is this? Oh, this is the, the pattern and the skirts and the bodices all in one. So normally that would cost 18 plus 15, <laughs> $33. If you buy them separately like that, if you buy this with this, that's $30. If you buy them all in one, you get it all for 25 bucks. That's the cost of one big four pattern. And I mean, how many options? What was it, Six, eight skirts? plus the two originals, so that's 10 skirts, plus five bodices, plus the original, so that's six bodices. I can't even tell you how many sleeves. Seven sleeves in the original, three sleeves in the add-on. I don't, I don't know what, what that would be. Somebody should do the math on this and come up with exactly how many different versions you would get how many different dresses you could make with this one pattern. It would be like, I think if you would add the skirt options, which is 10, the bodice options, which is eight. Is that it? The sleeve options, which is, what is it, was it five? Uh, I don't see the sleeves. Let's just assume it's five. So that would be 10, 18, 23 factorial. Is that right? I think it's a lot, you guys. I think it's like hundreds of different options. That's just incredible. That's really cool. I'm surprised no, more people haven't thought to do this. It can't be that hard on from a pattern designer's perspective, you know? And then you also have the little mommy and me version too. So cute. All right. Well, that was fun. Truly, can you think of another fit to flare knit dress that you couldn't create by using that bundle? Well, I don't think so. All right. Miss Sadie is beautiful, comfortable dress to wear for those lazy summer days. Four lengths, Easy to fit with an optional sleeve tab, V angled pockets, side seam pockets, and normal side seam pockets. Top tunic with dress is about, okay, so it's like a high low hem, worn with or without a belt, and suitable for wovens only. Okay, well, she made hers very fitted, and hers is very loose. So it looks like a dolman sleeve, like a grown on sleeve and some different pockets. 
Oh, and the sleeve tab. And the high-low hem. Okay. This isn't totally my style, but this is fabric requirements. Although this says body and garment measurements. Hmm. And then is this where the, oh no, same image on both. Okay. All right. So it does look to be fairly close fitting, but obviously you can size up. I don't think it has any waist to seam at all. I think it's just like a rectangle a rectangle with little sleeves i'm sure it's got to be so easy to sew come on i can't <laughs> i just can't do you load faster no nope. all right so from what i can tell by these little teeny weeny thumbnails is that it is basically like a like your bust to hem is straight and then you have your little sleeve that's grown on so this very few pieces i think two front and back and then maybe some kind of like facing to finish and then you can add a belt if you want and then three different lengths it looks like the longer length might have a slit on it like hers here knee length kind of curves up a little bit too All right, and that was 15 bucks. Now we've got the Miss Sophie top. Beautiful, comfortable, lazy summer days, relaxed fit, split sleeve with gathers and a cuff. Oh, that's cute. Has a scoop bound neckline with a front keyhole feature right here. Uh, made from gorgeous floaty fabric. Feels so cool in the body. Not a go-to though. So that's a little, a little bit of a letdown on Sophie. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Very fun, flirty, albeit sexy little top. Here is something new we haven't seen before. Well, this is a screenshot, but it's also not loading. Maybe it's this like program, this wherever we go, whenever um, we go to look at the pictures. Okay, what I was looking at is whatever this is down here. Oh, so I guess she's just telling you that this would be really great for border prints because it is so few pieces. Okay, well, thanks. This is body measurements. I think this body measurement chart's pretty much the same. Here, all right, now we've got three and a quarter inches of ease in the bust, that makes sense. Waist should be pretty roomy, yep, almost 10 inches. And by that I mean nine. <laughs> And only four inches of ease in the hip, though. So see how it's straight up and down here? So for someone like me who is like extreme pair, I would have to grade out, make the hip a little bit wider or put some slits in or something. And then you have your sl sleeve slit, but you could always sew this up and it wouldn't come open at all. Okay. We saw that. We saw that. Yay, a line drawing. Oh, it already is split. You can see. And then the back is longer. So there's a little bit of forgiveness here in the in the hip area. Oh, and the little keyhole. I keep forgetting about that. Cute little top. Twelve bucks. All right, now we've got Miss Stella. Go to pattern for a beautiful feminine cardigan. Beautiful, comfortable, stylish, day or night. Dress it up or dress it down, depending on your shoes. 
<laughs> okay, three lengths and a sleeveless and long sleeve option. Oh, so you make it like a little vest or a cardigan. It looks like it's like a waterfall design. Loose fitting. Long sleeve and sleeveless. Three lengths. Knit fabrics only. Okay. Matter of minutes. Little knowledge. Okay, so that's the same as before. Join the Facebook group. Okay. So that's either, I think that's the vest in like a mid thigh length. Or maybe not. Maybe the sleeves are just contrast sleeves. But it's the same as this underneath, so that's a little deceiving. Okay. That's cute. What a fun little like, I don't know, I'm getting like um, festival vibes. And now we get no more pictures. Okay. Well, you guys get the idea. There is a very long knee length version also. But I kind of prefer the shorter length. Cute little cropped cardigan for sure. 12 bucks. Did we have? No, we didn't have any. So there's no garment measurements, no fabric requirements anywhere. Not even in the pictures. So. Now we have, wait, Miss Ruby Tuesday again? If you love the Miss Ruby Tuesday pattern, then I have a treat for you. This is the beautiful Miss Ruby Tuesday faux wrap dress. It's another version featuring a crossover front with or without side tucks fitted at the bust, waist, and high hip, and then da -da 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 -da, made this pattern from the original MRT pattern, so the fitting should be easy. So it's just another version. Well, there you go. Interesting that she wouldn't just put this bodice with the others. I don't know why she would charge the full price for this if you already have the other dress. Look, she's showing a woman breastfeeding, I think. Talk about inclusivity. Well, oh, here we go. Nope. I'm pretty sure that's a baby and the baby's breastfeeding, and that is amazing. Normalizing that is beautiful. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why this isn't... Oh, wait, this doesn't have a waist seam. That's why it's different. Okay. So, basically, all she's saying is she used the same... Um, like pattern specs as the Miss Ruby Tuesday. So if you've made that, got it to fit, know what size you need, then this would be easy to make because you just use those same measurements that you used before. But it has a different look to it. Okay. You also get... Templates for sleeved or extended shoulder version. Sleeves from the add-on bodice can also be used here, which is great. Excellent. Let's see if we can get this to load. Oh, the side tucks are really nice. Creates that ruching and kind of just like camouflages anything funky going on okay so that's that it's like the same but different and different enough to warrant its own pattern I do agree its own full price pattern all right now we've got the swing it sister top the swing it sister top was inspired by the fashion movement of the 60s where expressing your individuality and having fun were paramount Swing It Sista will be your go-to, or should we say go-go-to, 
as it transforms from day to night by simply changing your fabric. All right. Designed to skim the body, allowing you to wear 100% polyester if you choose without sweating up a storm. I mean, that sounds enticing. Fully lined, no facings, grow grain ribbon straps. Okay. I do want to get to the free patterns. Yeah, it's cute. It, you know, obviously gives me Ogden vibes, but with a wider strap. And you don't have to use grow grain ribbon if you don't want. You could certainly sew a strap that's the same width as grow grain. It gets inser inserted the same way as the grow grain would. Obviously really cute styled like that. Oh, that's fun. Cute back. I love the deep V, but you can still wear a bra. Oh, that was the top with the first pants that we saw. Okay. Oh, that is a border print. Very nice. Okay. We get the idea, right? Okay. I'm assuming it's pretty loose everywhere. Bust 32 to 46, and then yeah, four inches of ease. No, three inches of ease. In the waist, there's like 20 inches of ease, and in the hip, there's gajillions. I don't know. Too much to do the math. Cute. Okay, now let's go see what she's got for free, and then I can download one of them, and we can take a look at some of the instructions. At least that would be the hope. All right, so we've only got two children's. That's disappointing. Trixie Bell top and a Molly skirt. So, bummer. And I would download one of those just to see what the instructions are like, but I worry that since it's a children's pattern, they might be different. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's see what we have here under fabric and pattern. It's nothing there. Anything under fabric? Nope. And holiday series, I think those were built into what we've already looked at. Yep, those three there. The bundles were also built in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so that is one puddle lane. And I, again, will apologize about the images. I'm not, like I said, I don't know if it's them or me. Um, hopefully you guys can go on um, and Look at the look at more of the tester pictures to see what you like but i do think uh she's got some really cute if not sort of basics um but basics that are designed well that have really great instructions where you're gonna be successful every sewist needs that you, you gotta start somewhere you know and sometimes even for me it's nice to go back to basics um, but I will say the one thing that is going to stand out in my mind forever and ever and all of eternity is the Miss Ruby Tuesday and all of the options that are available to you with that pattern. Truly, you will never need to buy a fit to flare knit dress ever again from anyone else. Um, so that's great. You can get it to fit and then you're off to the races and you can make 50 dresses and a year, one a week. Um, so that's really, really cool. But there were also a lot of other really great ones. I loved the swing top, which is this, Miss Eloise. Loved that a lot. So that'll stand out to me as well. But let me know what you guys thought of One Puddle Lane. Um, if you've ever sewn any of Anne's patterns before, let me know what you think of the instructions and like how your, you know, obviously how your garment 
came out, what you've sewn, which one you sewn, how much you liked it, all of that. That helps everybody else who's watching this and trying to learn about the patterns as well. So, but that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.